when we're finding the lowest common multiple of two numbers, basically what we want, want to try to do is try to take a look at the, the factors involved in 45 and 36 and ask yourself what factor is missing from the 45 that the 36 has. So in this case, we could either move that factor up here, so times 4, or we can move this factor down and make that times 5. In either case, we get 3 times 3 times 4 times 5, which is 180. Okay, so we're basically making all the factors in the top number match all the factors in the bottom number. So same thing is happening when we have three or more numbers. So if we have 2 times 2 times 2 times 3, 2 times 3 times 3 times 3 times 5, 2 times 2 times 3 times 3. Okay, so what's happening here is we can say that the, the 90 and the 36, okay, they're missing some 2s. So we go 2 times 2, okay, so we can do times 2 here. We can see that oh, the 90 has the most number of 3s, okay, the 36 has the same number of 3s, but this guy's match missing a factor of 3, and both of these guys are missing a factor of 5. Okay, so we end up getting 2 times 2 times 2 times 3 times 3 times 5, which is 360. So all of these have a common multiple of 360. In fact, it's the least common multiple. So that's one way to do it. Okay, another way to do it, we can just look at one number in particular and just say, okay, well, well we have to make, make sure that that we have all the factors involved here. So there's three twos on, in one, there's two threes, that's the maximum, so we need at least two threes. And there's one five, so we need to have a five in that lowest common multiple. A third strategy would be just to take one of these down for every one, just bring down one into the, that last row. Okay, and that would also give us the the least common multiple by doing it that way. The strategy of making, figure, filling out the missing factors is a good strategy because when we start talking about lowest common uh, denominator, when we talk about fractions, this is the same strategy we're going to use with fractions. So I have the lowest common multiple of 24 and 16. So I'm going to list out the common, the the factors of 16. Okay, so I'm not going to do the the skip counting method. Okay, that's always a method that you can always rely on. Uh, however, sometimes we get to skip count too high. It's it becomes very difficult to do. In this case, it wouldn't be too bad. We can just skip count to 48, but let's find that 48 another way. So we're going to do 2 times 2 times 2 times 3. Here we have 2 times 2 times 2 times 2. So when I look at this, I can say, well, this guy's missing a times 3. So I can just add that in. and That's my lowest common multiple. Or I can add in a times 2 here. And then both of those give us the same multiple. So it is a common multiple. And that gives us, in this case, it's going to be 48 is our lowest common multiple. And again, and we can actually show that here as well, that's equal to 48. Okay, so those are definitely multiples because we gain them by multiplication, and that's the first one that's common. So we can start off with 44, 36, and 40, and we can do the same thing. So that's going to be equal to 2 times 2, and I'm just going to put the times 11 over here. This is going to be 2 times 2 times 3 times 3. This is going to be 2 times 2 times 2 times 5. Okay, so I can start listing out any, I can start finding factors. Oops, what happened there? I can start finding factors that are missing. Okay. So in this case here, and again, I can use, I can do it for all three. I can just do it for one. This one, if I look at the 36, I'm missing a, a two from here. 
and I'm missing a 5 from here, and I'm also missing an 11. Okay, so that would represent our lowest common multiple. So 2 times 2 times 2 times 3 times 3. Okay, that's going to be, uh, let's see here. Uh, 495 times 8. Okay, so that's going to be 960, it looks like. Okay, so then we could do the same for the other ones. Okay, we're missing these factors. Okay, and these ones would then, it would all multiply to that same lowest common multiple of of 960. Okay. Uh, so let's see here. Uh, hold on here. Let's just double check that. That's going to be 36 times 11. Oh, that's not 960. 36 times 11. So I get two, 2 times 2 times 3 times 3 is 36 times 10 is 360, 3,960. Okay, so that's going to be our lowest common multiple for those. Okay, and those would all equal 3,960. Okay, and again, this is one that we probably wouldn't want to skip count to because we're going to have to go quite far to skip count to those numbers.